Hi guys, what's up? I'm Gunther2 here, and I just want to start off the video by, happy, by saying Happy New Year. Uh, I couldn't post a video yesterday or, yeah, or New Year's Eve because I was not home. I was on a sort of, you could say, vacation at my aunt's house in Indiana. And, uh, yeah, she didn't have a camera that I could use. She just had one of those photography cameras, and she didn't even know how to use it practically. And didn't have a tripod to use either. So, sorry about that, guys, and I also wanted to say, once again, Happy New Year. Uh, this will be, I think, the third app review. Third, yeah, third app review, number three. And I have planned three apps for you guys. But depending on the time, I'll see how much more I could go into that. So, uh, let's get started here. The first app that I have for you guys is called, one second here. Crazy, ping, uh, crazy Penguin Catapult Lite. This is an incredibly fun app. It's free for the App Store. This is the Lite version. I really suggest getting the paid version. Uh, then it just asks you at the beginning, enable sound. Click yes. And then let me just turn the volume up right away, real quick. All right. And then your app, then your options are play campaign, buy premium version instructions. One sec, sorry here. Back. High score settings and about. So we'll go to play campaign. Has these cool little loading screens. Let me zoom in here a little bit, maybe that'll help. Okay. Now let me just get to the first level. Okay, you start off as at this level here. And to enter a level you just double click or double tap the screen. Second here, let it load. Okay, and your objective is with this catapult machine, this guy, this one right here, to get these penguins that are gonna go on the rope through there. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. To launch the penguin with the catapult, you just tap right there, bam. See, but you want to get them through there. Like you guys saw that I just did, I hit them right there. So that, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so that does not count. When you hit them there, that doesn't count. And uh, the thing is, that the amount of penguins that you get through there is the amount of penguins that you get to shoot at the polar bears, which I will show you guys later on. If you get them through the fiery ring, it's like they go right through everything, even ice. Here, I'll try to get them through. There we go. Right there, we got them through the fire. I'll just get these guys through. And the game gets harder on later. Just got a cool little loading screen. <coughs> Excuse me. And what you want to do is hit the polar bears, like you guys just saw. Like I just got two down with one penguin. Tap to hit, tap to make the penguins crash down or come at the polar bears. That's pretty much it. Okay. Then you just move on through the levels. This and then there's like special levels like this. As you guys can see. And the free version goes all the way up to right here. And after you beat this level, I ask you if you want to upgrade to the premium version. So that once again is called Crazy Penguin Catapult Lights. And I will put, and I'm actually giving out of 5, I'm going to rate my apps out of 5. And I'm going to give this one 5 out of 5. I love this game. I'll put, once again, the app name and, um, I guess I could put a description of it, yeah. App name, description, and rating right there. If you guys are just going to, one second here, right there somewhere. And like the more info, you'll have to click the more info link. So let's get to the next app. Next app that I have planned for you guys, one second here, is called... Chart Fight SP Battleship. Now this game is like the game Battleship, the board game Battleship, except it's on your iTouch. To get started, just click Start. Then it says shake your iPod Touch to set up your sh ships, drag them around, or rotate them by double tapping the Start button. So then just click OK. And then to get your ships out, you just shake it right there. There we go. Now to move it around, you just hold and drag. 
hold and drag to switch them if you want to put them and right now it's horizontally if you want to put them vertically just double tap then move them around wherever you want so I'll just move these guys around just to show you guys okay and there and then once you have your setup ready just click start and this is just like battleship let's say I want to attack right there just click fire oh what do you know I hit him and you guys can see in this bottom screen that he also hit one of my ships so now I'll attack right there I hit him there as well he missed my ship you guys can see his hits and the hits that you make out of him right there so we'll go up there we missed him so I'm guessing that he's down there now one more time that's pretty much just the gameplay it's a real fun game, but as you guys just saw, I hit another one of the ships. And this is pretty much the whole gameplay. Like I said, it's like the game Battleship. It's real fun. Uh, rating wise, 5 out of 5. Uh, real fun game. Uses accelerometer well, as in shaking to get your uh, ships. Uses the touch screen well, as in you actually point where to go. Or if you don't want to point, you could just click, hold, and drag where you want to go. But I prefer just, uh, let's say I want that square right there, bam, fire. Uh, once again, that game is called Chart Fight SP Battleship. And once again, it's 5 out of 5. And I'll put the rating, a description of it, and the name right there somewhere in the more info. Somewhere over there. Alright, now the next app that I have for you guys is called Crystal Defenders Light. This... Uh, game reminds me of uh, you know you guys know that defense game uh, for the touch and also reminds and it's also kind of based on Final Fantasy so just the right light version so you just click Crystal Defenders World One or Round One and uh, you pretty much you have one stage selection when you're on the light version there's one stage selection so you pretty much just click that center button. Now, let me just zoom in here. Now, first I'll show you guys the controls. So here what it says is next enemy, Kaka Trice, and it's these little chicken looking things, and they're in the heavy HP. So just move there. And your choices are between a level 1 soldier, and it says his uh, description says no combat, range is limited, soldiers have exceptionally high attack power, they cannot attack uh, aerial targets, and then, sorry, I forgot that you can't use that. For mages, it says um, a black mage's spells cannot inflict the magic damage damage to multiple targets over over a wide area. However, reca recast time is long. And then for archers, which is all that I use, archers can deal physical damage to both air and ground targets over a wide area. So I click my archer, and I want him right there because the enemies come out and sneak their way through there and place them right there and I forgot to show you guys but you start off with 40 gold and archers cost 8 gold each so we'll put a couple right there just add some there and we have room for one more and then you just click start wave now there's one thing that I don't like about this game it's not touch screen you can't do anything with touch screen nothing you could just decide the area where you want your um, archers to be placed, or mages, or com or uh, warriors to be placed, and that's all. So pretty much, it's just all around here the controls.